Hello and welcome back to my Pokemon Black Randomizer Nuzlocke versus Treadjuice. We're back again, making our way through the Univer region and getting an encounter for out here first and foremost, which is... It's a skitty, isn't it? <coughs> it's a skitty. Okay. Um, don't really want this. Um, but I'm going to try and catch it anyway, just for sort of general fodder. Uh, it's not ideal, but yeah, we're gonna hopefully catch it anyway. Fuck's sake. Um, I mean, it's probably gonna knock it out, but I'm gonna try a twister. Oh, brilliant. Um, yeah, we're gonna continue on and hopefully get to Opal Lucid. Um, Opal Lucid City this episode. Um, and I think obviously put ourselves in good stead to take on the gym possibly next episode um yeah i suppose we'll uh, we'll see how that goes um i think we even have a, a, a rival encounter to take care of as well which uh, should be decent i think we should pretty much uh, realistically be able to sweep um sweep the whole thing with garchomp as usual um Got to have our wits about us here with this cup chew. Obviously, we'll have ice type poke, uh, Pokemon moves. Why am I saying Pokemon moves? Ice type moves. Um, of course, we've got sort of rain boosted moves as well, which is always uh, always going to make us that little bit stronger, which uh, which we absolutely love to see. Uh, take a few hits to to get this uh, Palpator down. We'll get there in the end. Um, I'm hoping that there's not not a whole lot of trainers, to be honest, um, coming up. Um, because we, we don't really need it in our lives. Um, I think we're, we're at a decent level. Um, we're not really doing much damage. I am intrigued, actually, to see what a rain-boosted surf does. Yeah, that'll do. Um, See, Giga Drain is uh, doing a little bit of damage to us there, but nothing really to worry about in the end. Um, and then we go up the Cartman's up to level 44 as well, so that means we can uh, we can go ahead and switch over to Garchomp, which uh, I always get really excited to do because um, yeah, it's by far the the best Pokemon on my team, probably one of my luckiest encounters, I mean catching it in one ball as well, I know um, I often get lucky with catching sort of minor Pokemon in, in one ball but I really didn't expect Garchomp to uh, to get in there so thankfully it did, um, we've got Sludge Bomb which will actually be really handy for us, um, so yeah we could have had a Vile Plume there which is followed up by a Lotad, um, not the uh, not the best encounters in the world, let's be honest. I do think we have to uh, cross over this water, maybe. Um, we'll take on this parasol lady, I think they're called. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a tedious slog once again to get to, uh, to where we need to be. Um, I do think we have a, another... Uh, Encounter place coming up. <laughs> Kenny is just—he's uh, just too good. It's uh, it's absolutely fantastic to see. Um, I think I know. Obviously, we could have used Rock Tomb against Ducklet. Well, I think he's a flying type as well. Um, we don't need to. So, <laughs> um, I will quickly get on my bike. Um, full heal. I think I want to go. Oh. Take on this trainer, um, and then I think obviously there's the I think it's called the Moor of Icarus, or sorry, I'll say more for people who can actually speak English. Um, but I can't remember, I think that's its name. Uh, I think we get an encounter in there, if not, then again, it's not the end of the world. I think, oh, fuck me. Um, how is a Chinchino faster than a Garchomp? Fucking hell! <laughs> um, 
That's actually baffling. Ooh, 2,241 XP. That is uh, that's what we want to see. Jesus. Um, see, we get a berry again. We've not really had to use them since the first gym, but could come in handy uh, if somehow I run out of every healing item that I have. Let's not heal up Cartman while I'm here. Um, we will need to head back and get some more Moon Moon Milks at some point. So yeah, I think we do get an encounter here. Um, hopefully, we can uh, pick that up soon. Um, can't really be bothered to fight anyone. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. So I'm just going to wait for this repel to quickly run out. Um, get whatever this is. Great, a max of eye, fuck's sake. Um, okay, we're getting encountered for the Moor of Icarus. <laughs> Except we don't, because it's a, an Entei. <laughs> um, so, obviously, we will activate a Legendary Claws for this one. Um, I will take it down, though, because it will give us some decent XP. Actually, not even that much. Um, no, we'll try again. So, we're going to get, in fact, a... Zorora, Zorora, Zorora. <laughs> um, not bad. Um, Zoroark is a, a decent Pokemon. Uh, um, I, I don't think this one will quite make the team at this point, but we'll catch it anyway. Um, I think we'll uh, what to call this one. Um, uh, we'll go for Jimbo, I think. There you go, Jimbo. Um, yeah, not not a bad encounter though, all things considered. Um, but yeah, not not one that I plan to have on the team. Um, yeah, we're gonna get out of here. I can't be bothered to fight any of the trainers. Um, again, it would be nice to get that extra bit of XP, but don't really need it. Um, and I'd rather just crack on as quickly as I can. Um, yeah, and we'll take on the rival fight. Um, they do always seem to, uh, to shout at you from afar, um, and then and then uh, go for the fight from there. Um, but yeah, I think we're looking good to uh, to get ourselves to Orca Lucid from here. Um, hopefully, without some complete disaster, we should be able to get there. Um, we can just bloody hurry up, of course. Um, it's not ideal that we've got rain and an intimidate, but <laughs> we get a crit which uh, negates that. And wow, that is XP. <laughs> um, that's uh, yeah, that's decent. Go for bulldoze here. That doesn't do anything. I don't know why I use that to be honest. Just thought. It'd be worth a try. Uh, we're getting a crit of Dragon Claw, Jesus. Um, so far, so good. Um, Chandelure, of course. Um, it's intriguing to see that's still not... Uh, or is that the final evolution? Maybe. Confuse rates, not ideal, but... <laughs> We get through that, luckily. Uh, I don't know how much XP. Bloody Nora, 4,000 XP almost. Christ above. Um, and Simiseer as well, which... <laughs> Chomp will, again, happily take care of. Probably a one-hit kill. Yep. Wow, what a handsome amount of XP to get before... Uh, before this final gym fight. That's uh, That was a seriously impressive amount of XP. Uh, so I think I'm not sure if that might be the last fight we have with uh, with Bianca to be honest. Oh mate, just get out of my face. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's uh, let's put Carmen back up front for now. I think we're uh, we're definitely going to absolutely smash the gym uh, with the. With the Pokemon and levels that we have right now, can't see any issues at all. Um, and we'll make our way across Tubaline Bridge. Um, it's a bit blurry, I'm not going to lie. Um, oh, there's another one of these little gimps. Um, 
the Shadow Triad. Bloody hell. Oh yeah, this one's actually gets us. Um, hopefully we can spam through the text as soon as possible. Um, don't really know what he's saying because I'm not actually looking because I don't care. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just uh, we just keep spamming through the text. That's that's what we do. Um, not as make for the best viewing in the world, but again, at the end of the day, we are in a race scenario. And we need to get through as quickly as possible. So, off he pops. Uh, again, didn't really ask for any of that get assist and also don't really care. Um, and I think, I think that's it for the bridge anyway. I think, uh, do we get through to, oh, hello. Bro, literally, what the fuck are you doing throwing Pokeball at me? Like, what? <laughs> Why has he just done that? What a danger. Um, so, yeah, we've got a few uh, bikers to take care of, it looks like. Um, hopefully, shouldn't be too difficult for, for our team at this point. We're looking strong, looking powerful. Um, I'm very intrigued to, to know if Chase has a, a team uh, just as good as this one. Um, I've, I think the encounters have been pretty kind to me uh, this run. I don't think I've always had the best encounters, but I think I've always done a decent job with what I've what I've had. Um, I've, I've had decent luck in terms of starter Pokemon, though, I will admit. Um, so hopefully that continues. Um, and yeah, it was a decent starter in this uh, in this run as well. But obviously, uh, sadly, we did lose. Um, to lose that Pokemon. Um, I obviously forgot about the move Acrobatics in this gen, where it's basically 110 base power without when your Pokemon isn't holding an item, which is, is always going to cause you uh, problems. So, yeah, that one's on me. Um, I am uh, obviously quite stupid. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just, uh, it's just one of them things. And hopefully, something I can avoid doing again. So. I don't think we've got we've got a lot of um, a lot of trainers to take care of on this route. Um, again, hopefully we touch base in uh, Opal Lucid this episode, um, and then that'll put us in really good standing to take on next episode. Um, I think I think we're looking pretty good. I think if I was doing half an hour episodes, which I believe. Chase will be doing. Have I just done this as a single battle? No. Uh, uh, Chase does half an hour episodes. I think this will be episode 18. Um, which is obviously 20 minute episodes. So, ah oh, shit. Uh, I don't really want to get hit by bulldoze, but. Um, yeah, I think, how long is that? So, obviously, three, ep three episodes is two episodes worth, so, yeah, we've done, what, three, six, six times. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't be bothered for, I always try and do maths while I'm concentrating on Pokemon. Um, so yeah, if we've done 18 episodes, that's two episodes left. So, nine, nine episodes? 12 episodes? I don't know. I'm not even thinking to be honest. Um, so <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be able to work that out another time. But yeah, we're, we're trying to give Kyle a bit of a bit of a run out when, whenever we can. Um, again, I think he perhaps loses a bit of his viability for us now. Um, and for fuck's sake, Paris! <laughs> um, again, I'll catch it for the purpose of. Um, of just having a bit of fodder just to chuck out if we need it. Um, but again, I don't think I'll even bother naming this. And it, you know what? I mean, I should probably try and catch it, shouldn't I? Okay, so there we go with Caught Paris. Uh, it actually was that Pokeball. I thought I was going to skip it out. Um, 
but we, we ended up catching it anyway. Um, hopefully, you know, we've got some some decent <laughs> items on them. Uh, one can hope. Have we got an awakening? Yeah, we do. Um, just wait Kyle straight up. Uh, I'll keep my repel off for now. I thought, thought I might see if we get another encounter. Um, I think this might be the last one um, for us here. Uh, a Scraggy, which uh, again isn't going to be too difficult for us. I think a, a quick bulldoze should do the job. I do really like Scraggy. Um, I think he's a decent Pokemon. I mean, especially if he has Moxie as, a, as an ability, he just he just does bits. Um, I, I remember using one, uh, well, a Scrafty, uh, obviously in the end. Um, using one on my original playthrough of uh, these games, so. And I did them completely blind. Um, again, I don't think it's the the most difficult games to follow. Um, yeah, we've we finally made ourselves to the last city. Um, obviously, we've got a bit of boring blah blah to take care of with uh, with these lot, um, but hopefully, should be able to take it out pretty soon. Um, so I think next episode again. Yeah, we we are in a we are in a good place where we could take on the gym. I don't think anything in this gym is going to take take down a Garchomp. Um, obviously, if for some reason I don't one hit KO them, um, you know that could, that could obviously give us some issues. But let's be honest, Garchomp isn't gonna isn't gonna lose anytime soon. Um, I don't I don't know which one I actually fight. In this one, I don't know if it's Drayden or Iris. Um, but yeah, we are. We're definitely going to take that on next episode. I think we're ready now. Um, I think we're as ready as we're ever going to be. And I'm going to actually get some higher level Pokemon just to put in the party as uh, fodder. I mean, I think actually I have Raichu. I suppose that's all I really need. Um, so. I think we're going to fight Drayden, um, it seems. Again, we've got some more handhold stuff. Um, but I think we're kind of done with story for now. Okay, so I'm going to continue uh, follow, following Iris. Um, is she taking me to the gym or, or is this Drayden's gaff? I don't know. Um, again, I want to kind of get this done. Um, I want to get this done for um, the next episode, so we can just uh, so we can just crack on. Yeah, I think we've just got boring stuff to say. Uh, blah blah blah. Um, obviously, discussing the backstory of Zekrom and Reshiram. I mean, if you really want to, like, slow the video down and, and read this. But um, yeah, I'm not the kind of person who's going to be reading it out and, and waste my time um, yeah that, that that leaves us there so we have just got the gym to take care of I don't actually know where the gym is or where it's situated in town um, yeah that must be it so we'll end this one here um, thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed the episode and I will see you when we take on our final gym